What's up everybody? Today we are going to be replacing a PS4 Pro um, hard drive. This particular unit was working perfectly fine and then the power was cut to it and then that was it. It will not boot, it will not go into... It will turn on but it eventually pops up with a message on the screen saying that it couldn't basically read the hard drive or something like that. Um, I guess it's really common with these. Looking these up, looking the issues up um apparently these hard drives are um super 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 sensitive and this particular model i guess that's in these is just it's got terrible reviews so i had him order a new one on amazon um it's a different model though it was about 70 bucks if I remember correctly Give or take maybe I think it was closer to 80 now that I think of it But There's the drive it's that tiny little thing. It's a uh, 2.5 inch drive, so you're kind of really limited in your options But it's super simple So your hard drive is right here all you need is a small little Phillips bit screwdriver, but just kind of push and pry on this thing to get it off. This is actually literally in my eyes, the hardest part. You can see there's like a little, kind of like a tab right there to hang on to. This piece right here just snaps into place, but it's a little tricky. There we go. Literally feels and sounds like you're breaking it, but just comes off like such like that so now you've got your hard drive tray which is right here and be gentle with these consoles you know you don't want to slam them around but all you got to do is take this one screw out so I am actually gonna use because I don't have all those specialty little tools um, I just use a little screwdriver that came with my uh, Mavic mini drone to change the propellers works perfect Cause these aren't in tight, they just need to be snug. Well bless you over there, dog keeps sneezing. And then once you get to that part, the first time I did this, it was a little in there kind of tight, but you literally just pull it out. You know, if you need to, you can get like, maybe some kind of like pliers or something to kind of pull on it, but just pull straight out, that's it. And then, remember the orientation. So obviously you know, you can remember by the screw that this part goes down. When you slide it in, you know that, that plate that screws down is gonna be on the bottom here. So, the top of the hard drive is up here. It's not hard to remember, but just something, you know, it'd be annoying to put these four screws in then realize you got it in the wrong way. So literally just pop these four screws out Just the screws, you leave the little rubber washer things in there. And then your drive will just literally fall out like that. So here's the original one. Here's what it looks like. Here's the brand and all the info. I looked up reviews because I was obviously, you know, right off the bat, you want to replace it with the same drive, but a lot of people have issues with these, so we are not using that one. We are using a Western Digital 2 terabyte. So same size, but this one's Western Digital. So this one comes with like some kind of cover on top. It says do not cover any drive holes, do not press on top cover, so I'm kind of assuming that just stays on. There's no documentation with it. So, you remember you want the top of the drive on this side. And then obviously you want the drive connections on the outside. So you're just gonna kinda, it's a little tricky to line these holes up. So just kinda like, Set it in there as best you can. Get it lined up with like your thumb. 
Once you get one in, the other ones will line up a little bit easier. There we go. You don't want to crank it down either because you want it to, you know, be able to move around. While you're putting the other screws in, let me uh, disclaimer that. You know, you don't want to crank it right now because then the rest of it's not going to want to cooperate. And if these pop out, these little rubber things, it's super simple. Just there's like a lip and it might be easier if the hard drive's not in the way, but they just literally press right back in. And again, guys, I'm not a professional repair shop here. So if some professional is watching this and wants to critique every single move I make, I work a regular nine to five job, 50 million hours a week building car parts. So now I go through and just snug the four up. Don't crank on them, just get them, you know, nice and snug. And then of course, make sure all your connections are clean. You know, if there's like any kind of fuzz or anything like that, you can just wipe it off with like a Q-tip or like a microfiber rag, even some like compressed air, something like that. So now we slide it back in. And there's like kind of like some notches. It feels like it might lock in a little bit. That's normal. Put the screw back in. This goes just like this. It snaps right back into place. And boom, there you have it. About five minutes it takes to swap out the drive. But you're not done. So now you have a new drive in here, but it does not have anything on it. So now you need to get the operating system on it, which you have to do through a computer. Okay, guys, I just wanted to try this out first um, like I said before I could not even get this into safe mode um, when I would hold the button I would never get that second beat so it wouldn't it would eventually pop up with a gray screen and tell me that there was an error to hold the button turn it off and that was it so now I held the button for about eight or nine seconds the second beep happened and this popped up right away so I plug the controller in let's do that and then boom so Big progress here okay so I'm using an external hard drive here just uh, something like you use to back up your computer or something like that back up photos and stuff I formatted it to fat 32 and then I went to this page here and downloaded the software update you click on the right one which is download ps4 reinstallation file So this is the guide if you need, you know, like written instructions on what to do, but click this, start downloading this. You see roughly it's about a thousand megabytes. I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again, but I clicked it and drug it from my download folder onto the hard drive, which is where I messed up. But regardless of whatever kind of drive or device you use to transfer, you're going to want to make sure it's formatted as FAT32 or uh, MS-DOS, Microsoft DOS, DOS. As you can see right here, I already did that. If you need to do that, look up a video. It's super simple, just how to format a hard drive or you know thumb drive. It's usually a couple clicks on the mouse. But it varies you know, between operating systems, so I'm not going to show you guys that here. All right, guys, so... I used a external hard drive that I have. It's a two terabyte unit. I downloaded the um, update file. It's uh, about a thousand megabytes, but luckily we have a good internet connection, so I downloaded it really quick. And it's on here. So I'm gonna plug this in. I'm gonna plug it right to the front of the PS4. Now I'm gonna hit OK. Let's see what happens. Okay, the hard drive light's flashing now, so it's reading that. Nope, never mind. <laughs> well, I'll be back, guys. Okay, so where I messed up was 
I don't have my hard drive plugged in right here, so I'm just showing you guys like a virtual kind of thing. So pretend whether you're using Windows or Mac, pretend this is your USB device, you know, whether it's a hard drive or a USB, like a thumb drive, whatever. So I click that and then I drug the update folder or the update file right here. And that was it. And then I tried to plug it in the PS4. That doesn't work. So what you need to do is when you're in your, um, when you're in your USB thumb drive, hard drive, whatever you're using, open it up, make sure there's nothing in there. And then you're going to do a new folder called PS4. And then in that folder, a new folder called update. And then in that folder is where you put the update file. Really simple stuff, but I neglected to do that the first time. So I was trying it and it did not work. Once you do it the right way like this, it pops right up when you uh, plug it in and hit okay on the PS4. Okay guys, rookie mistake. Super simple, quick fix, took me 20 seconds. Now let's try it again. So, yes. Bing bada boom. There you go guys. Super 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 simple. Even if you're not like a tech guy, if you're not into computers and hardware and stuff like that, you can still do this. It's super simple. It's five screws. It's like literally five minutes of physical labor. And then a couple buttons you gotta click really. Super simple. Um, I will put all the links for actually only I think one or two links. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the link for the hard drive that we used. I'm going to put the link for, you know, the software. Um, all that good stuff will be in the description. If you guys have any comments, feel free to leave them below. I will try to respond to them as quick as I can. Sometimes YouTube is weird when it notifies me. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So if I don't respond right back, I do apologize. Um, when I see it, I will respond though. If I don't catch it, hopefully somebody else does that can help out. But super simple fix um unfortunately this is a thing that happens to a lot of people so worst case scenario it's anywhere from about 30 to 80 dollars to replace the hard drive and you can do it yourself don't take it to a shop don't send it in and pay sony if you paid sony you would probably i would assume pay close to what the, the what the console costs so save yourself some money and uh do it yourself i promise it's easy and the whole update period, I put that on a, like a time lapse, you know, I sped it up a lot. It was probably five minutes from the time I hit the OK button until everything was done and it was on this screen. So super quick. Um, yeah, let me know if this guy, if this uh, helped you guys out, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up. Um, if you like my content, obviously I would love to have you guys subscribe and join us. Um, I do a little bit of everything on this channel. I have a vlog channel as well. Um, you can check that out. Links will be in the description for that as well. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, have a good one. Hopefully you guys get a simple fix.